Oh, do you know what time it is? That's right, it's time. It's time to relaunch. And let me ask you. Let me ask you. Shouldn't you be working? <laughs> hey, folks. It is your good pal, your friendly neighborhood, local, uh, not a medical doctor, Dr. Ben. Back with another relaunch review. We're looking at this, this book, this comic. Shouldn't you be working? By this fella, Johnny Ryan. And your friends at Fanagraphics Books. This is, uh, I'll just, this one, <laughs> well, I'll give you the heads up too. This one is not a kid's comic, you know. A lot of people like, uh, those Robert Crumb comics. I looked at, I thought this might kind of, till I get my hands on some more Crumb comics, this might give you all a little something to tide you over. A lot of people like these uh, black and white art that, uh, edgy, I don't know what you call it, edgy, controversial, problematic. <laughs> Let's read the back. I'll tell you what, what is this about. If you've ever goofed off at work, you will love this laugh-packed compendium of drawings Johnny Ryan did while on the clock at a Seattle urological clinic. Yes, who are serious. Why so serious? <laughs> Don't be serious, Fanagraphics. For the last few years, these gags and sketches were published as limited edition Xeroxed mini-comics. Now these out-of-print Lowbrow gems have been collected in comic book format, perfect for perusing on your lunch break or any time the man isn't breathing down your neck. <laughs> the man. Trademarked. The man is trademarked. I didn't know that. That's crazy. Uh, and then this is the inside. This is the, the author, the cartoonist's. Work words uh, from May 2000 to May 2002. I worked full time as an insurance clerk at a Seattle urological clinic. During that boring time, I produced many drawings while on the clock. When I should have been calling insurance companies or recording patient payments, this book is a collection of some of those drawings. And no, they never let me touch any of the pee, unfortunately. So this is from. 2003, published by Fantagraphics, and it's just called Shouldn't You Be Working. It's not really like a comic in the sense of like, uh, I'm going to like, I'm just going to kind of throw most of the caution to the wind here. We're going to cover up some of the, the dicks and stuff. Uh, UTI funnies, ur urinary tract infection funnies. That's there's a lot of dicks and tits and, and all that stuff in here. Look. Hitler tits. <laughs> Why is... Well, 2003 was a different, the saved faggot. <laughs> Fuck you. Who cares? This is what Fanagraphics has made a lot of their bones off of. Or at least uh, in the press, you know, making, publishing controversial... Uh, comics and whatnot see i this is the thing like this this is some people like oh, that's pornography and this is the same thing if you're against this if you're upset by this or if you think that this is pornography get out get out more go outside the house leave the basement this is not a circle inside a, a dot with a circle no if that if you're looking at it and you're like oh sex time Something's wrong with you, okay? I can't help you. I'm not a doctor, or at least not a doctor like that. I'm a doctor, as we've discussed, of divinity, not of, uh... <laughs> this is all this, this is filled up with all these just goofy, <laughs> it's just a little puddle. It is just, I love this format that it's in, that it's just all these crazy, goofy drawings, just, uh just jammed onto the page. You know what I mean? Like just one gag, gag picture after another. 
And there, you know, he'll have, it is a comic in the sense that like, you know, there's jokes, there's words, there's pictures, but it's not maybe not like, uh, we're not gonna follow like this, Modonna, instead of, instead of Madonna, Modonna, bonk, twank. We're not gonna find out what happens next after Modonna pro, uh, pokes, is that Curly, Shemp? I think that, no, that's Curly, Curly is the one that was bald. Shemp was the one with the, uh, bowl cut or whatever. Larry. You know, we're not going to see more of Modana and Shemp and Larry or Curly and Larry or whatever. You know, it's just every page is just more goofiness. See, maybe I'll, I'll cover up that one. Should I? I don't even know. Probably not. I don't care. Are we, are we going to get a strike? We're going to find out. Let's find out what happens. <laughs> Such goofy little pictures. You know what I mean? Like, it's just... Wow. Just every, every image is just something goofy, you know, like, uh, <laughs> him doing, here's Sarge as a pig. Oh, you gotta be mean to Sarge. There's a little Garfield. Or no, that's not Garfield. That's, uh, Heathcliff. Oh, that guy. Old Dilbert. <laughs> Dennis the Menace. Dennis the Menace's body's a little bit too long there, I think. But he's got, he captured his little, the way he draws shoes and stuff. Hank Ketchum. His Ziggy, I don't like his Ziggy. His Ziggy looks a little kind of sad. That's one of the things I always find interesting is like, uh, what, you know, every, everyone, there used to be a time when people, there used to be these things called newspapers, right? And one of the pages in the newspaper, it was a bunch of pages, newsprint paper, with words, maybe news stories, reviews of movies, sports scores, you know, all kinds of different stuff would be in these newspapers, right? They're gone. They're long gone now. We don't have newspapers anymore. But uh, one of the pages would also be comics. It would be better to go back. And all these different little characters would be in the comics. Like this guy, that's, what is it, BC? I don't know if he had a name or not. <laughs> See <laughs> uh, every one of these, you know, there'd be like three or four little panels from all these different characters' stories, you know. So you got the the, the, the cavemans, you got you'd have Dilbert, you'd have uh, might have a Dennis the Menace strip, a Ziggy strip. I think Ziggy was usually like a big a one big panel. Usually is what he would be. Uh, Beetle Bailey, Heathcliff. Hagar the Horrible, High and Lois. You know, the, each of these different characters would have their own little strip. You know, like a couple of pages. Or not a couple of pages, a couple of panels. For that day's joke or story advancement or whatever was going on. And uh, I always just found it interesting which character would speak to different people. Like I remember Ziggy, I always think of Ziggy fondly. Right, Ziggy's this little dude here, if you don't know. Ziggy was uh, my grandma's favorite character. She had a little Ziggy comics clipped out, or she might have a little Ziggy uh, statue or something. Or, you know, in the... Some people would have uh, Hagar. People liked Hagar. People, you know what I mean? Like, everyone had their little comic that they liked. That, there was, that was their favorite one. Uh, my favorite back then probably... I don't know, probably Prince Valiant probably was probably my big one. Maybe Dick Tracy. I liked the I liked the longer form adventure stories. But that, that's why I like this, is just that it's not, uh, you know, it's just something you can pick it up. <laughs> and it's all, it, these little goofy jokes. Uh, here comes Buzz Ungwent. Ungwent. He's always trying to fuck my wife. Hey, Phil, how are you? Fine. And you can see, like, look at those little, it means he's like angrily saying fine. And how's your wife? Why don't you go away? Hey, pal, no need to get mad. I came down here to help you out. Help me out? Sure, I'm gonna do you a big favor. I'm gonna make your wife smarter. Really? You can do that? But I guess you probably aren't interested. 
No, wait, wait, wait. I want to know how to make my wife smarter. She's a certified idiot. <laughs> like, <laughs> so goofy. And then, you know, the next, that's what I'm saying. The next day, there's not like a continuity from page to page. Like every page is just different. There's Thor. Different little gags. So you don't, you don't have to read each page in order either. Who hit Nelly in the belly with jelly? Lollipop. <laughs> no, no. It's just these goofy gags. Who's the little mustache man? Who's the little mustache man? Is it you? Is it you? <laughs> it's so goofy. Oh, this one. Look out, Zionists. It's Hippler. He's back. And this time, he's totally cool. Sig awesome. Look, the Wu-Tang Clan is now down with Hippler. <laughs> Saint your father's Hitler. TV Guide. Hail Hippler. The best new show of the season. <laughs> Hippler. Uh... <laughs> too, too much shitting, man. I'm on a mission. <laughs> they're just, as I'm saying, they're just like absurdities, just fart jokes, all kind. Of, this one, he's. I always wanted to fuck a fart. What's that mean? <laughs> Jerk beast. I don't know whether to kiss you or knock all your teeth down your throat. <laughs> So I've decided I'm going to jump down your throat and kiss your teeth. <laughs> Hello? Anybody in there? I think he's in La La Land. I just... That's a, <laughs> lots, lots of dicks. Tits. I guess I didn't... What's this one? Oh. <laughs> uh... Easter, Easter cartoons. Oh, Edward Gorey on Howard Stern. Edward Gorey on Howard Stern. I wonder if Edward Gorey was still alive at this point. Where's my other thing? Let's find the thing. Hey Siri, when did Edward Gorey die? Let's find out. Well, tell me, fuck. April 15th, 2000 is when Edward Gorey died. Rest in peace, Bob, guy. He slept in a coffin before he was dead. Isn't that crazy? He drank martini martinis with eyeballs in them. Instead of olives, he'd drink martinis with eyeballs. Uh, so Edward Gorey on Howard Stern. Life's too short for all that gassing. Short. Did I say shirt or short? I, don't know. I guess there is some kind of continuity. Edward Gorey on his favorite stooge, who's the one with the bangs. <laughs> oh man, and look, topical. This is about the 2004 presidential campaign. We're approaching a, two a presidential campaign once again. There's one big difference between my opponent and me I've got big baloney buns. So vote for me. I don't want to draw from the race. <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe old uh, Brandon can get himself some of these baloney buns. That'll help him in his chances against uh, against the the Donald. Maybe. I doubt. I don't think. I don't think Brandon's gonna get some uh, butt implants though. Wouldn't that be funny if like he came out like for the today's the uh, the State of the Union address. Wouldn't that be funny if he came out and he had had, like, ass implants? Like, Biden's like, the State of the Union is thick! And he, like, turns around and starts twerking with, like, a big ass. That'd be hilarious. I, that would, I would, he'd have my vote for then. You know what I'm saying? If Biden, I'm going to say this on the record, okay? This is, as I said, this is uh, the 7th of March, 2004. I'm putting this on the record. If between now... And election day, Joe Biden has uh, ass implants. If he gets his butt increased in size, like if he puts in those big pads, you can get a big shapely ass. If he does that before election day, I will vote for him. I will vote for Biden if he gets his gets ass implants and gets a nice big old thick ass. 
then he's my man. You know what I'm saying? He's he's who I'm pulling the lever for. Bloop, blink. Charge. <laughs> Like, you know, like, I, we've looked at, uh, you know, I'll put a link into the other Johnny Ryan comic. We looked at Prison Pit issue three before, book three before. And it's, like, entirely different from this. You know, that's, like, a sci-fi uh, horror show kind of thing. And this is just all, all these weird, goofy jokes and absurdities. There's a huge mask coming at me. Weird little spider-looking face. Oh, wow, look at that. That looks like, uh, that looks like the guy from Adventure Time, doesn't it? Finn. Doesn't Finn have a little hat like that? Well, I, you know, I like it because this, this is kind of, I like cartooning more than <laughs> the gay terrorists. We hide in butt caves. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Oh, here's him. He's, I think Al Jaffe died too. You know what I mean? Like Johnny Ryan's carrying on the same traditions as like, you know, when they did Mad Magazine and Crack before it, before it turned into whatever it is now where it's just not funny and doesn't even, I don't even think Mad Magazine even comes out anymore. It's all reprints or something. But you know, humor and comedy, you have to be able to make fun of everything. You know, if you say that you can't make fun of nerds, that's rude. You can't make fun of nerds. Then we have to. You know what I'm saying? Whatever it is you say, you can't make fun of doctors. Oh, look, this is... I was talking with somebody earlier about uh, the musical band Anthrax. Doc, you got to help me. I got Anthrax from eating Apple Jacks out of people's butt cracks. <laughs> that's so... You know what I mean? Like, it's just like, I love this because it was like, I got this back in 2011, right? And I've kept this under wraps since then. But it really, like, it really showed me, you know, like a lot of, a lot of cartooning is just, just trying out ideas. Just write down jokes, write down goofy pictures and just see what works. And then, you know, like this, what is this? A rat or something with buck teeth? You know what I'm saying? Like you took him... Say, hey, you know what? I like the buck teeth thing. I'm not so big on the rat. I'm going to turn these, use these buck teeth on Nerdy Birdie, you know? Or uh, Country Thunder. Country Thunder. <laughs> Country Thunders. <clears throat> Is that a man? A woman? I don't know. Oh, we got heart attacks from sticking thumbtacks in our nut sacks. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think this, they're so dumb, but <laughs> the six million dollar taint. Nice try, creep. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> That's what I say. Like I didn't. I you know I don't prepare stuff for this for these reviews. Anyways, I just like to look through things I got. And I mean, I've read this a bunch of times before, but it's like it's one of the books that like I'll bring out just for like. Every page has got so many little gags, you know? Like, here's... Every page is just filled with all these gags, goofy characters. And, you know, like I said, you don't have to... It's not a continuity thing. You can just look through and, like, find something that's funny, laugh at it. Then throw it away. Throw it back in the corner where you kept it. Throw it back in the box. Ooh, swastikas. Why is Fantagraphics Graph printing swastikas? And also at the same time printing Palestine. Are they against the Zionists? Hopefully. Against the Zionists. <laughs> wig pit. Hey boy, what what you doing in my wig pit? <laughs> Why does he have a wig pit? <laughs> what does that even mean? You have a pit for wigs? Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Probably not, as my brain is far, far superior to yours. <laughs> Ooh, free money. Ooh, who doesn't want free money? Support public radio. Is that where you get free? Oh, you die. Look at that stupid idiot. Now, wait just a minute. Let's hear him out. <laughs> Let's hear him out. Let's see what he's got to say. 
He might have something important to say. <laughs> the Jizzer. I've got another one of his books called uh, New Character Parade, where it's just filled with uh, every every page is the same kind of thing, but it's a little bit more uh, comic like. I think it's like every page is like. Uh, a comic, you know, like panels for a comic with just a, a different character, a new character, and every one of them is these, you know, uh, absurd, sort of like, maybe some people would say these are offensive. I don't know. Like I said, if you find scribbles on paper offensive, okay, but you're not like worried about like uh, World War Three. You're offended by this, but you're not worried about World War III. Go, get out. You know what I'm saying? That, that's how I feel with that kind of stuff. You don't like uh, uh, the, all all that stuff with these these books in the schools with all the, the porno books and stuff that they're giving to kids. Eh, you know, do, do I want kids to be looking at porno? Not really. But, you know, what's, what's the alternative? Stuff... They look at porno books or they look at the news and watch us like, you know, what, bombing, uh, bombing cities and all the different evil stuff that we do. Yeah, who cares at this point? At this point, you know, you're going to start at the, the with the smallest thing. Start with some of the bigger things like getting rid of TVs, getting rid of news that uh, lies, you know. I just created a mustard that makes people horny. <laughs> Look at all that sexy mud. Bacon is the sexiest meat. Love bacon. See, I, that's why I could never uh, become a Muslim. Is bacon? Couldn't do it. Couldn't, couldn't give up bacon. I don't. I don't eat bacon every day. But man, the idea of not having bacon again. <laughs> Peter Bag at the Comic Book Awards in Spain. <laughs> This is great. <laughs> we are going to give you a lifetime achievement award, you filthy American pig. <laughs> Peter Baggs got a new book coming out from Fanographics now too. I'm excited to get that new new book of hate from Peter Bag. Also, still published by uh, Fantagraphics. You know, as much as you know, sometimes I like to rag on on Fantagraphics. You know what I'm saying? Like. Uh, there's too much of like the academics, academias that get in there with their highfalutin, you know, sticking the head up their own assholes and everything, pretending this and that. But at the same point, you know, Fantagraphics is also still putting out uh, Johnny Ryan. He just, they just came out yesterday. He just released his new book, uh, Fat Cop. About a fat cop that uh, shoots people or something, you know, like, so, I mean, that's, that's what, I, that's all I want. I don't want Fanographics to stop publishing, you know, snooty, elitist, uh, better than everyone else, self-righteous bullshit like they normally do. You know, I don't want them to stop doing that. I just want to make sure that they continue to publish stuff like this. They publish the stuff from everyone, you know, because <laughs> who has the most powerful pee in the universe? You might never know. <laughs> <laughs> This one's. <laughs> would, you, would you mind if I put my Wang in your butt? No, not at all. Here's my Chinese butler, Wang, and I'm gonna stick him in your butt because you said I could. Come on, get in there. Why me? <laughs> I must be. He should have made him look like Doctor Strange. You know, that would have been funnier. Oh, maybe not funnier, but that would have. I don't know. What am I even saying? But this, these are all. You know, this is the thing, is these aren't, like, deep thought out things. It's just just jokes and goofs and stuff just come right out of somebody's head. Love it. So, I mean, that's... <laughs> Try hooker milk. Now extra disgusting. <laughs> hooker milk. <laughs> Kid shit. That's a good one. What else is in here? <laughs> <Can't play. laughs> I'm Lumpy Lap. <laughs> Guess who's coming to dinner? I th think you'll find I have 
find that I have a lot of problems. And I only have one problem. <laughs> Wait a second. Look. Oh man, he's, oh, look at that. This is almost, I wonder, this is almost kind of like what, um, in Prison Pit, you know, the character has on his arm, it's like this, this, this concept of having your arm replaced with some sort of like little animal, he's been thinking about that. He's been thinking about that for years. So that's, that's the other thing. If you like Johnny Ryan's stuff, you know, like dig up these old books of his, write Fantagraphics and see if they'll, uh, reprint this or something, you know? I don't know if it's reprinted anywhere. I don't know. It's a fun, like I said, goofy stuff. Probably sort of offensive. Ku Klux Cuddlers. <laughs> right. There you go. That's that's Fantagraphics. This is what Fantagraphics publishes. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, like, we, there's no reason. This was published in 2000. This is 2024. We're going backwards. We're actually going backwards. Because if you tried to publish Ku Klux Cuddlers now as some sort of... Whatever, whatever you're trying to say, is it a joke? Are you making fun of the, the KKK? Are you, is he endorsing them? Who knows? What do you want it to be? You want it to be that Johnny Ryan is endorsing the KKK? I don't think that's what he's saying there. You know, that's it. You know, if I can get a hold of him, I'll ask him one of these days. You know, I did get to ask him a question on a interview program once, and I asked him if he had ever seen uh, the movie Real Steel with Hugh Jackman. And he had not seen it. So I still, I wonder if he's ever gotten around to watching Real Steel. Because that was a good movie. Those robots that, uh... Fun stuff. Fun stuff. So that's what we got for today. Uh, wrap it up. Yeah, we got about... That's what I'm saying. I don't want this to be a super long video. I'm trying to get these. I need to get back a little bit more. Look. Trouble! Having trouble. St trying to stay in trouble. You know how it is. But uh, trying to get back on track, get some more reviews out a little bit faster. Same time, I've been working on uh, my goofy comic books and uh, you know all the stuff I do. But uh, I want to work, go back into doing more uh, comic, comics journalism kind of things too. Um, so I might, I might do that later today. I might want to. So some things I wanted to cover, like comic book news and comic book articles and whatnot. Because, like, you know, this is the thing I noticed with comics journalism. The Eisner Awards removed the comic, the, 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 the award, the Eisner Award for comics journalism. <laughs> Why? Well, okay, think about that. The awards for comics, for one, I mean, they're, comics are like such a niche uh, industry anyways. And you have your little awards ceremony, which is essentially at this point just, you know, the cool kids club hanging out and jerking each other off. And what those cool kids all said was that there isn't even journalism anymore. We don't even need a journalism award because it's all such shit. Okay, I mean, Bleeding Cool, Comics Beat, CBR, or the right-wing versions of those, you know, Bleeding Fool, uh, Bounding Into Comics. Even, even you know, I like JDA. Sometimes he's got his moments, but I mean, if all your com your journalism is, is just pushing your side of shit, you're not a journalist, okay? You're not a journalist, you're a propagandist, okay? That, that goes for either side, left side, right side, you know, once, once you stop trying to just sh sh have an objective viewpoint and are trying to push... This is the best comic. This is what you need to buy. You need to go out and buy Shouldn't You Be Working from Fanagraphics Books and Johnny Ryan. This is the best book. You need to get this. This is what it is. If that's what you're doing, and or you're saying, darker image. This is dog shit. This is the worst comic in the world. Don't buy this. It's, a fa it's racist. It's racist is what it is. It's transphobic. Look, it's transphobic. Max, he's a transphobe is what he is. He's a... Uh, anti-Semite, he's a this, he's a that, he's a, uh, a sexist, blood wolf, he's a 
don't buy this. You know, once you start inserting your own interpretations, I, and I love Darker Image. Don't please, don't get it twisted and think, this is maybe my favorite comic ever, maybe. No, no, it's not. But definitely, it's it's always within hand reach, arm reach. But you know what I'm saying? Like, if you, once you start, lose that objectiveness, and you're just focused on trying to push your own narrative, your own opinion, then you cease to be a journalist, and you just become a propagandist, right? You're just trying to push... Your side, yeah. We, Japan is the best. No, America's the best. No, it's Japan. No one cares. You know what I'm saying? Once you lose, you lose. Uh, a, how do you? How do I say that? You know, you lose uh, respect because you're just you're shown to just be a a shill. You know, you're just going to repeat whatever the company line is, even if you don't literally work at the company. You're repeating. You know, that Marvel comics are the best. DC comics are the best. Or whatever it is. You know, you cease to be a journalist when you engage that kind of stuff. Um, so that's, you know, with, with this, shouldn't you be working? Is it offensive? Probably. Probably to some folks. The Muffin Man. What? Hey, uh, don't I know you from somewhere? No. No, you must have me mixed up with somebody else. I don't know. I never forget a face. I told you, I'd never seen you before in my life. Now scram! I remember now, you're the Muffin Man. Oh, shit. It's the Muffin Man! Get him! Beat his brains in! Oh. <laughs> what does it even mean? It's so goofy. That's what I'm saying. Like, If this is the sort of thing that would offend you... The, for one, how are you even watching this? If this is going to offend you and you're on my channel... How did you even get here? Explain that, you know? I mean, by, by all means, I'm glad you're here if you want to explain that how, if something is offensive or if you find it offensive, why should I not be able to read it? Why should I not be allowed to talk about uh, a comic book that you don't like, you know? That doesn't make any sense. That's not what, freedom of speech isn't for speech that you agree with. It's for speech that you disagree with. So, you know, I, I find there's a number of things from each political party that I find disgusting. Different beliefs and uh, positions on things. Both, and I'm not, I'm not going to go into it because I'm not trying to make this into a big political shindig or whatever. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, we don't get anywhere if you're not allowed to discuss things. If you're not allowed to disagree, we're not going to get anywhere positive, you know? Because, you know, if you're if you're against this, then the next thing you're going to be against is darker image, you know? And then the next thing you're going to be against, you're going to be against my relaunch. You're going to say, relaunch? He's not allowed to relaunch. He's not allowed to do a relaunch. No, because he was talking about these creepy comics from Fantagraphics with swastikas and racist jokes in them. You know, like, Dr. Ben should not be allowed to do the relaunch, because he reviewed a racist comic from Fantagraphics, so Dr. Ben needs canceled again. <laughs> Try it. Try it, motherfuckers. See, that's I'm trying to get back into this uh, radio DJ bullshit kind of thing I want to do here. Radio DJ. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Ben reviewed this comic from Fantagraphics. And that's unacceptable. He shouldn't be talking about this. He shouldn't be talking about these jokes that we, we profited off of. Talk to Fanagraphics. If you don't like it, hit up Fanagraphics. TCJ.com. That's where you hit them up at. That's the comics journal. Their house organ, you know? But that's, that's what I mean. Like, I think we need to have the ability to disagree without repercussions. I mean, unless, of course, your disagreement is, like, violence. You know, you disagree violently, and that's that's not really acceptable. Once you once you fall to the level of, uh... <gasps> got the hiccups. Once you fall to the level of having to resort to violence to prove that your, your position is the better, then you have lost. You will never, you know... It's just how these things work. So, you know, fanographics... Salute. 
Salute. Keep publishing, uh, Johnny Ryan. I'll be getting a copy of uh, Fat Cop here in a little while, and then we'll, we'll try to cover that maybe. Uh, keep publishing, you know, the dumb stuff that you guys publish too. You know, like I said, you guys publish a lot of that, like, academia-styled comics where it's all, uh, you know, just, what do they call it, progressive? Progressive? We're going to put that in air quotes. Progressive, because those people are just... <laughs> Eating shit out of the dog's asshole is what those guys are doing. And then calling it chocolate pudding. Yeah. No. No, thank you. I don't want your pudding, Pops. Keep them. You academics, stay with Bill Cosby and your pudding, Pops. I don't want any. But, you know, you're. I, I want you to still be able to put out your pudding, Pops, or whatever. Keep publishing those public pudding, Pops. And, uh, you know, that's what I'm saying. You gotta be able to disagree. But the one thing I ask, agree with me that you need to like, subscribe, click the bell, push the buttons, uh, share it, tell Johnny Ryan, like I said, hit up, hit up Fran Graphics, he's got a new book out, Fat Cop, I'll put a link to that in below. I guess if, I'm just going to do, oh, I know what I can do real quick here, that's what we can do, we pull up a little, uh, what's up, Buffalo John, what the hell was that? Uh, where's he at? Where's he at? Oh, come on. Oh, no, it's on. It. Oh, oh shit, I think I had it. Oh. I want to show you guys the fact, a picture of the fat cop thing. Just so you know what I'm talking about. Johnny Ryan, Johnny Ryan. He's always getting, uh, kicked off of the, uh, different platforms. There it is. Fat Cop. New book from Johnny Ryan. So we'll put a little put a little link to that in there. So you have more pictures of it. <laughs> I watch a lot of porn, so I'm an expert at this. <laughs> huff, huff, huff. Drip, drip one up. This is look how excellent these tits are. <laughs> it's so weird. Campground salute. Not the midget! <laughs> So anyways, you find Johnny Ryan offensive, don't tell me. Go tell um, Fantagraphics. Tell them, hey. Or you know what? Go tell Disney because Fantagraphics publishes Disney comics. Go tell Disney that Fantagraphics is publishing, you know, evil racist comics. If you're that upset about it, go do something. Don't bitch to me. Go tell the people that can actually do something about it. Look, there's him drawing lots of little pictures of... <laughs> This is on Instagram, so this is on Mark Zuckerberg's website. Is uh, is this Islamophobic? Is that what that is? Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, that's Mark Zuckerberg for you. That's what Mark Zuckerberg puts on Instagram. Like I said, don't bitch to me. Go tell the people that you want to control this shit. Go tell them that you don't like it. <laughs> go, tell, go tell Bill Cosby. That's what you got to do. Go tell Bill Cosby about your problems. He'll... He'll serve you up a nice warm cup of milk and uh, all your problems will just melt away. <laughs> Anyways. Nautica. What does that mean? And there's a cop car crashing into somebody there. Look, we're looking at my iPad is what we're doing. Fun stuff. So anyways, that's... Uh, I think that's enough. I've gone over... I'm gone over is what's happened. Okay, so that's a wrap. Uh, like I said, I don't even know where you could find this. It's, I, I imagine it's out of print, but uh, it's one of the things, like I said, that I find funny. Uh, I find humor in a lot of bleak and horrible situations because that is one of the coping mechanisms that I have evolved over the years. Laugh, laugh, and you are still free. As long as you can laugh, you're still free. You can be putting me to my end. And my last words are going to be like, You cocksucker. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that's uh, that's what I got. You know, come back. Come back tomorrow. I'll try and get another video up. Or, you know, like I said, I might try and do a... Maybe we should do a live watch. 
watch party or something with the, uh, no, I don't even think I could stand to watch the State of the Union. It's not freaking old creeper up there. Okay, anyways, come back again. Go buy some more comics. Go look at your comics. Go, uh, you know, just don't, don't do nothing I wouldn't do, okay, kids? Bum, bum, bum.